Previously on EverQuest, Project 1999, Permadeath. Going to feel the bone. That was a bad idea, but it was also compounded by the, uh, yeah, let's do that, uh, by AZ Gamer. So, um, oh my goodness, we finished the quest. Let me go ahead and put that there. And, um, let me go ahead and kill this guy. We're gonna go turn in that quest, guys. Oh my goodness, we finally completed it. We're gonna get a shield of the Ebon Mask. Don't know what that is. And now we continue where we left off. Okay, so while I was uh, heading in here, I decided to go ahead and stop for a moment. Um, I had to invite a guildy anyway. But I figured I'd go ahead and stop and check on that quest for the um um for honey bubble or bobble or whatever her name was and it would seem that while she is level one she is followed around by her brother who is level 10. Uh, also if you look up the quest it says that you shouldn't start it until you're level um until you're level 15 or so so I'm not going to be doing that uh, quest for now at least. So I'm going to go ahead and hand this in. And I'm going to hail him just to make sure that this is the person. Say, okay, I think that's, I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and hand him the bag. And he ended up giving me a dark shield of Evan. So three AC shield for warrior, cleric, shadow knight, and rogue. So definitely, if you're um, if you're needing a shield, very nice. We got a shield. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. He had another text too. Uh, say, uh, I am interested in joining this. House of Rogues. Please don't kill me on this. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. We of the Evan Mass. Okay. Dark Shield of the Evan. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep the bag. Not gonna do that quest though. <laughs> Again, the fangs alone are are annoying. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hail. Well, he's the quiet type, I guess. Hi. Very quiet as well. Hello. <laughs> okay, he's saying something. Greetings. Um, must be a stranger in the uh, or new to the hall. Say, so I am new to the hall. Then I am glad to make your acquaintance. Have you been to Freeport? Uh, if not. How would you like to? Um, it is a test of your cunning we wish. Are you prepared to risk your young life? Are you ready to venture to Freeport? Say, I am ready to venture to Freeport. Find a way to the port of Freeport. Seek out Giz. She is usually near the shores. Okay, I know exactly where she is. Okay. Usually near the shores at night. She is your contact. Tell her you were sent by Tan Tanny. She will... Fill, okay, she'll fill you in on our mission. Good luck. Do not waste time practicing your skills. Go. Uh, okay, okay. So I'm going to practice my skills. Thank you very much. So that was a, um, a good one. That's so pretty much uh, I don't. Oh, hello. Hi. What do you have for sale? Oh, shuriken, things, um, lockpicks, red hellbane, I guess that's, uh, something for poison making. 
if I get high enough, that's definitely something I want to do. Uh, poison making is definitely valuable in this game. The problem, though, is that I don't know a place where I can do the pottery easy because I can't do the pottery in um, in high hold, which is where I would normally do it. I'd do my pottery and everything there. It'd be the best way to do it. But um, it's one silver for each one of these. It's kind of expensive, I think. Uh, lock picks kind of want to get those because I get that skill uh, coming up. Now, if I go into Befallen, I think I get the skill at level 6 or 5 or something like that. If I go into Befallen at level 5, the only thing I'm really worried about is if the ghoul is up. If the ghoul is up, then... And I can't get my sneak hide to work. That would be a very very bad thing so i'm gonna go ahead and um uh, oh i can buy them i i need to buy them oh my god it takes so much money it takes so much of my money do i have things to sell i have some things to sell um oh yeah 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 there's um hail hail him Nothing. He's not even good for talking to. He doesn't have anything that I need. There's another door over here. Um, this one? Uh, who would I speak with last? Um, I don't know. Are they two different? Okay, yeah. Looks like I don't need to talk to either of them. Let's go ahead and head out. Um, it said I am low on drink and food. Uh, the drink I like to get is Nariac Nectar, so we'll go get some of that real quick. I think it's um, pretty cheap. Also, I have to be careful, but um, there is... I can kill this guy at some point, and he's really, really good experience. I don't know what his faction's on. Uh, I can actually look that at, up on my way out. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, see Nuriak. Nectar is five silver per. That's a lot of money. Um, okay, let me go ahead and sell this. I mean, that <laughs> that's more than what I just sold that, that beer for. Okay, we'll sell that. Uh, anything else? We'll sell this as well. Um, make three gold on that. Nice. Definitely, definitely take that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just sell the snake eggs. I'm not even going to loot those anymore. Um, to be honest, I'm going to stay away from snakes as much as I can. Um, so that would be five gold at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a stack. Can I buy a stack? Cannot. That's, of course, one platinum for a stack. Let's go ahead and just buy five. Four. That works. And um, there's a merchant over here as well, but hello. Hail. Hey, what's up? If, you're, uh, if you want some real fun, go downstairs at uh, the Maiden's Fancy. What? Go downstairs. This is the Maiden's Fancy, is it not? Yeah, this is the Maiden's Fancy. Okay, is there a... If you want to have fun, go downstairs. Is there gambling? Is there a gambling thing in the game I didn't know about? What's this? What's that? What's this thing? Um, what? Hail. What? Oh, wait a minute. Are they? Hello. Oh, my God. Uh, how about letting me dance for you? Two gold, and I. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, hello. Um, spice. Oh my goodness. Is this is this your is this your thing? Is this is that? <laughs> um, let me follow the ambassador right here. Let's see what he has to say. Really, nothing from the ambassador. Hmm. I'm kind of, I gotta try to... Th okay, so... Rat... Raz. Okay, I gotta remember him. So, pretty much, this is a brothel. Um, and this is what it would look like. Dance! I can do my own dancing. Wait a minute. Can, I can. Can I not? 
Nance, um, let's go ahead. Yeah. Again. Do that shift click. Shift click that thing. Oh, okay. I almost stopped that. <laughs> Rhett Rez. Okay, we'll go ahead and check him out. I'm going to go ahead and get back out um, to the field. And we actually I might stop at the Warrior Guild and see if I can find that quest to go to Ogok. Just so that we can have an adventure. I know I know we're supposed to not be dying, but if we don't have... Oh yeah, actually we're going to Freeport, aren't we? Um, that will be definitely an adventure. I kind of probably should have put points into Sneak. Okay, I'm stalking like a cat. Do you get skill as you move? How does that work? Hmm. Okay, I might just st stealth along here for a minute and see if it actually gives you skill for just walking in this. I mean, that would make sense, would it not? Who all killed? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and head out, and I will meet you in the fields of battle. All right, so we're on our way now to Freeport. I've been talking to Alatar. He is a level four, I believe, uh, Dark Elf wizard. He went over to Freeport because it is an easier uh, place to get experience. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there and join him. We're also going to check out to see if we can do the bone chip quest that uh, is in the aqueducts. And I also have that quest to go talk to Gix. So that is the plan. Um, one of the things I'm really enjoying about this series is that we now have a lot of people in the guild. I believe in the uh, Discord channel we have over 30 people now. And whenever I'm walking around anywhere and someone sees the guild tag, they... they <laughs> Are, they check you. They they definitely check you. They say things along the lines of, um, you better be careful, or um, I, w I was doing um, an outro to a video, and um, and they, they checked me on the, you have a corpse, why are you still online? And <laughs> that was the greatest. It's like, come on, man, give me a second. I'm trying to do an outro, and I'll, I'll delete the character. <laughs> So, um, that, that's pretty good. I, I really like that the community is, well, a lot of people or some people don't want to take part in this. Um, they are definitely checking you and making sure that you're, you're, uh, you're holding up to the standards because everyone on, um, I believe Facebook on Reddit and on the forums now knows about this guild and they know the rules if they've read the post. So uh, if you want to join the guild, make sure that you understand that you are also going to have the community watching your every step if they actually see you out in the out in the field. So definitely uh, very cool that we've gotten not only the people to join us and are enjoying it. Uh, one of the things that I've also been hearing and have been feeling myself as well is that as we go out and play these characters, we get really attached to them really fast because we know that it's life and death. And I've been kind of uh, frivolous because of the fact that uh, either I was trying to go and group with my friends or uh, other things were happening. It, it just one of those things that I'm going to have to at some point during one of these characters, I'm going to have to step back and uh, make sure that I, I do everything possible that I can to survive. And that is um, making other people do that as well. But the thing that I've been hearing and uh, how I feel as well is that Whenever you get on to a normal character of yours, like my 53 wizard or my, uh, or my cleric, it just feels so weird going back to it. It feels like 
you're you're having to have training wheels though it's not that bad it it does feel kind of weird that you're coming back to a situation where you have all this gear you have money you have things that you can buy you can tweak characters and things like that but you kind of get that um I don't know what that feeling is. It's that resolve that you're you're really you have you have this character that is not static that can die at any time, and if they die, then they're gone forever. And we have uh, people that are doing quests longer than they should just because of the fact they're milking that last experience. And I think that's a great idea because in this kind of um, playground, if you want to call it, that is kind of how you need to feel about it, is that every moment could be your last. If you're at 50% hit points, you need to probably start running, um, because that's one of the things that's happened to me, is I, I did, I was getting low on health, and I didn't think about it, I didn't run to the guards, that could have saved me, that could have saved me a whole lot sooner if I, uh, on Toter, the, the very first character that I made, if I would have just went to the guards as soon as I hit 50%, or um, on the monk, that, that whole deal of going to fill the bones was just a bad idea, should have never done it, and uh, yeah, but as I progress through these characters, I either learn or I don't learn from those situations, and I think that's how everyone else is feeling, is that um, they, they make their character, they get invested into it, and when it dies, it's, it's like losing a family member, uh, it, it really hurts, it, but you pick yourself back up, you make a new character, and, uh, we ended up getting a new guild officer, so we now have three people in the guild that can invite others to our guild, which should make it a whole lot smoother getting people in and, and on um, onto the guild. So it's kind of nice. We're growing, having fun, and um, just really loving the experience. But I'm going to go ahead and get to Freeport and see you there. So we finally got to Freeport where Alatar was waiting for us. Uh, started killing to get experience. And I had a good amount of fun. We went ahead and started saving picks for the orc pick quest and also started just trying to get as many bone chips as we can so that we could do the bone chip quest as well had a good amount of time here was really easy and definitely a whole lot better having a a duo or someone else to group with especially in the circumstances for which we run this guild, meaning that uh, the permadeath situation and everything, was able to get a good amount of experience, if I remember correctly. I think it was almost halfway to level by the time we got done, and then decided that we were going to go ahead and head over to the aqueducts. Now, the aqueducts that you need to know about is that there are the drowned citizens i believe they are if they are ready to attack so do not fall into that water go around the basin and and you should be fine uh that said while i was doing that i was freaking out the whole time just because of that idea of accidentally falling in and also the fact that the rim is just really really small so you could fall off rather easily but we ended up getting down to the aqueducts and we will go ahead and take off from there so we made it to the aqueducts and uh this person right here is the person you do the bone chip quest with so i'm gonna go ahead and hand in some and uh they haven't actually my group partner hasn't told me if the quest is good or not kind of not looking down though so that uh, I can uh, see myself. So right now I'm at two yellow. Wow. That... Okay. So yeah, that is definitely definitely worth doing. So let me go ahead and get my my forty bone chips here, which I really need to sell to get a weapon. 
but I kind of really want to, um, you know, level as well. It's not the best, I guess, It's, but it is something. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. Now, I have another quest I have to do down here. Yeah, it kind of isn't the best, but it is something, so I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing this for a while. I'm going to do one stack. He ended up getting level um, level 4. I'm going to try to get level 4 off of this. M maybe. So I made my way to the aqueducts with Alatar. We ended up doing the bone chip quest. And it really fared well. Uh, I'm at fifth, um, well, not very far from leveling. Hopefully, by doing this quest, I'll be able to uh, go ahead and be able to uh, get level four, which is whenever I get dodge. Plus, we have another quest to turn in, which is the orc pick quest. Uh, orc pawn pick quest, I guess. Um, it's a really good quest to do. It's at the Warriors Guild. Probably not going to be the best experience or the best items. Just something to add to our experience. One of the things we've been finding is that just coming into here, it has been very frightening. <laughs> uh, you have no idea where you go. Okay. So up here, I believe, this is a hidden wall or it's going to be... Let's see if we can strafe through here. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. We were just at the Necromancer Guild, which is where you want to go if you want to do the bunch of quests. Luckily, they're in Ruck, and I'm in Ruck, so they didn't hate me. Um, yeah, so here's the hidden wall. And I think there's a guy beyond this wall, so... Oh, wrong wall. <laughs> So let's go ahead and take sneak off. I know that there is multiple directions that you can go here. I just have to find the right one. So wait a minute. If I go this way, this is going to take me back to... Wait a minute. Is there another way to go here? And then this leads to the... The guild, right? Am I insane? Okay, over here is... Is the guild, right? 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 Yep. Okay, so there's that. Then I should take this area over here. Maybe that's what I missed. So I'm going to sneak and hide again if I can. Elephants, of course. Always look around the corners... That's one of the great things about this is that you never know what you're going to run into down here. And it really makes you be cautious. So I ended up finding Gix and I spoke with her, but she would not interact with me based off of the message I was supposed to relay to her. So I ended up just continuing the quest by going ahead and killing the individual that was required so that's what you're gonna see next i went ahead and just skipped over the gix part all right so i've made it through the aqueducts and i have um we we found the bone chip quest i'm, I'm with uh, alatar and uh was able to uh, get almost to level four now i'm doing this quest now i talked to giz but she did not talk to me, even using the, the words that I was advised to use. She said to come in the quest, it says to come here and kill uh, Lindy, I think it was, who is the daughter of the seafarers, whatever this place is called. So that is what I'm doing as I'm looking. She's supposed to be level three. So this could be a challenge. I could die from this. But to be honest, I could die from just being where I am right now. So um, I figure I go ahead and give it a go real quick. See if I can 
Can you read that? I can't. I can't read that. Um, Seafarer's Roost. Yeah, that's the place. So I'm going to have to find her by herself. I also need to check everybody to make sure that they cannot see me. Like little Biggle over here. He is indifferent. Uh, Swiftfinger. Someone that I would probably scar. Oddly. Um, so Lindy oh hey bard i'm not a fan of you uh not the person i'm looking for her yet um she didn't look like she was a bartender so let's go ahead and keep looking around here so i'm just going to follow the quest and if the quest doesn't bear anything for me i mean i at least i tried there she is she is level three she's even conned to me now, I don't even know if she's a caster or anything like that. Uh, I feel this is safe. I don't have backstab or anything, so this is going to be on pure will. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> here we go. I might die from this. Okay. Um, in three, two one okay i need to hit her okay i hit her she did really good damage i hit her again yes okay here we go this might be it this might be an easy fight i'm gonna all i have to do is get her head and then we'll, we're golden i'm gonna have to uh get myself uh out of here i'm gonna have to get the snake and hide to work again which is the hardest part is getting snake and hide to work and she's down. <laughs> okay, so I got her head. Yes, we'll take this. And we'll put it in our important bag. Uh-oh, there's a bar downstairs. And uh, there we go. Of course, beer's going to be in my important bag. Uh, let's go ahead and sneak and hide. Failed sneak. Uh, I hope no one paths up here. If they do... I'm a dead man, woman, woman. <laughs> um, let's see. A herd of elephants. All right, let's go ahead and try again. Running like elephants. This is the worst part of it all. Anyway, unless something absolutely drastic happens to the point where I die, I will let you know. But I'm going to go ahead and head on out and meet you over in Freeport where me and Alatar or Alatar and I are going to head back to Nariak to turn in some quests. All right, guys. So I've made a journey with some friends uh, in the guild and was able to get to Akanon or to the Steamfont area. I ended up hitting level four and I'm going to go ahead and unhide. I'm not going to unsnake because I don't know if this guy will attack me or not. And then I'm going to try to train dodge. So here we go. Uh, I wanted to record this because I don't know if he's going to kill me or attack me or anything along those lines. By the way, I should be standing right behind him, so it shouldn't cause any problems. Nothing. Oh, my goodness. You know, they might actually not mind me here either, so <laughs> that might be another thing. Um, let's see. Level 5 is Picklock. I already have Picklocks on me. Perry is at 12. 10 is my big, the big one. That's whenever all the things start changing for me. Uh, what is my piercing at? Piercing is at 19. So I'm not too far off from my one hand slash. This weapon um, I ended up getting for killing a woman in, uh, in Freeport. 
taking her head back to um, to Nariac, and it's five damage, thirty delay, two AC. And the funny thing about it is, while it looks like a whip and it makes the sound of a whip, it does not actually do the action of a whip. It it acts like a dagger. So I wish they would have changed the graphic to like a rapier or a dagger or something that was a little bit more ornamental. But I'm going to take what I can get. So I'm going to go ahead and head back out and uh, start leveling a little bit. So when we ended up getting here to Akanon, um, Alatar ended up having to log. I was able to get into this group with this necromancer, which was really good experience. And um, I just stayed out here for a while. We ended up getting to a point where we killed a mob or, or two, and then he needed to go ahead and take a, an AFK for a minute. I did advise him the fact that uh, if I died, I wouldn't be coming back due to the fact that I was in a permadeath guild. Uh, he understood and... <laughs> Uh, this is right before he goes AFK, by the way. So we, I'm kind of jinxing myself in a way, I guess, because I'm not, I'm not allowing myself any any time between him uh, being AFK. I should have just gone AFK myself. Would have been fine, peachy, all of that. But I'm like, you know. I, I could take these. These are, I'm level four now. These are uh, even con or maybe they're blue. I should be able to kill these. So I start attacking one and, um, and I feel like I'm doing okay at the beginning. And then I start noticing that uh, my weapon is not hitting as much as I would like it to. And I'm being hit a whole lot more. By the way, before this, I also had just bought a fine steel rapier. That's the weapon that I'm using. So it should be a faster weapon and and should be a whole lot better for me. Well, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> so finally, I'm like, okay, I have to run. And whenever I run, my two choices are either to the guards where I'll get killed or go ahead and go to lesser Fadar. So I start running to Lesser Fadar. That situation, or whatever you call it, whenever you get low health, where your strength and agility just dump and go down really, really bad, that ended up happening. So my my strafe did not work very well. And, well, you see what ended up happening. So it's kind of sad. Really, really wanted this one to last, and um, and he didn't. She didn't. Woman. So as you just saw, I was in a fantastic group. I decided I was going to go ahead and kill them all, but I just got a fine steel dagger. And I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> I'm going to be able to take this on. I should be able to at least and um, ended up dying. That's kind of sad. Um, I was just a, I, while this is the same level I've gotten before. Uh, whenever I played the very first rogue I had, I, um, well, it's, it, I felt like I got further as far as getting money and, and things along those lines, but, um, wow, really, really bad. So, um, I think it's time for us to random. And I have my list. Let me, I have my paper copy. Of course, I'm going to put it up on the screen here. And uh, I'm going to random 18. By the way, I'm not going to play a class that I've played before. Like if I get a dwarf anything and I get a rogue again, I'm going to re-roll 
because I'm not going to play another Dwarf Rogue because of my list. I, I, I want to make sure that it's always something different. So here we go, 1 through 18. And we got a 2, which, oh, this is going to be a good one. No matter what it is, it's going to be a good one, I feel. I feel it in my bones, feel it in my gut. It's an XR anything. So now we're going to go ahead and random five, random five. And we ended up getting five, which is a warrior. Not my favorite, um, I have to say, but definitely um, a good one. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete Toter now. And we're going to go ahead and make the XR in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this is Cypher deck. Sadly, sadly I died again. <laughs> it's becoming too common of occurrence. Anyway, uh, next time we will make it, I promise you, at least to level 5. <laughs> I can't promise past that. Actually, I can't even promise 4. So... Let's just say that I hope, I hope I do well. <laughs> Alright guys, peace out.